One very frosty morning in late October 1960, two young teenagers, Soren Gregerson and Kent Goering, checked the readings at a weather station on the edge of the vast sheet of solid ice which covers most of Greenland. The barometer at Camp Tuto was rising. The wind, which had been blowing with gale force for several days, had lowered to phase one, about 25 miles per hour. This meant that in a very short while, these two Boy Scouts, one from Denmark, the other from Neodice, Kansas, would be crawling east across 150 miles of frozen whiteness in a slow-moving convoy of polecat tractors. Their destination, their headquarters for the next six months of constant winter night, would be Camp Century, a large military research center which the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has built deep down under the surface of the ice cap. For the next six months, Soren and Kent, selected from the pick of Boy Scouting in both countries, earned their keep as junior scientific aides in one of the world's most unusual communities. While January winds howled up above at 80 miles per hour and the thermometer sank to 100 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, a small supply of uranium in a nuclear reactor lighted the laboratories and the tunnel streets.